An Arawa group concerned Northern Forum has urged the police to arrest former governor of Imo State, Senator Richard Okorocha, alleging that he was involved in massive looting as governor and must not be allowed to escape the law. Says we are here to call on the Inspector General of Police to order the immediate arrest of Senator Richard Okorocha, who was caught red-handed breaking the law. Except the police are telling us that Okorocha is above the law as he had boasted he should be taken into custody immediately, the group said. Why addressing a press conference in Kaduna on Friday? Hmm, can you imagine? <laughs> Arewa group. The group said Senator Okorocha was not above the law and unless he was tried over all the petitions written against him and his wife, the likes of Senator Joshua Darie and Governor Jolly Nyami, who were in prison for embezzlement, should be freed. Comrade Abusalam Mohamed Kazi, President Northern Nigerian Youth Forum, who spoke on behalf of several other northern groups that were against decades of political corruption and mismanagement in Nigeria, also called on authorities to scrutinize the activities of foundation alleging that many were used to launder funds. This press conference today would not have been necessary if our leaders applied themselves diligently to their jobs and ensure that those who infringed on the law are punished accordingly irrespective of their petition, status, political party and religion, he said. The disturbing signals we have been getting from Imo State in the last few days where a former governor of the state, Senator Rocha Zokorocha, has dead government and all its institutions and appears to be getting away away with it compared us to address this conference for those of you not properly appraised of the situation the state government set up yes the state government set up various commissions of inquiry to probe the admission administration of Rochas Okorocha, who was accused of large-scale corruption by the people of the state. These commissions were set up by the short-lived government of Right Honorable Emeka Hedioha. You also recall that within that period, the government attempted to recover some looted vehicles from Okorocha, which ended in a serious disaster between the committee and those of the, on the payroll of the senator. The head of the tax force for the recovery was beaten into coma and stripped naked by the talks of Okorocha. Strangely, the police stood by and did nothing, even when the former governor boasted that anyone who dared him would suffer a similar fate. Unfortunately, nobody did. When Senator Hobo Zodima came in as governor, he invalidated those commissions, giving them the force of law according to the wishes of the Imo people. As a man already used to impunity, and lawlessness, Okorocha refused to appear before the commissions to defend himself against mind-boggling allegations of mindless looting of the state property. Instead, he rushed to court to try to stop the panels from functioning. When he failed, he decided to run to some powerful stakeholders from within and outside the state. As expected, the governor rejected the satanic appeal of those stakeholders who are not ready to serve their people by themselves and immediate families alone. Our in-depth findings shows beyond reasonable doubt that the current governor is a, is a, um, a, dog, uh, a thorough person that is ready to sacrifice himself for his people, providing his actions are within the law of the land. The recommendations of the panels were properly taken through the rigorous, the rigors of law and subsequently gazettes it was only after that that the government started implementation of those recommendations which expressly stated that all looted assets and funds of the state should be recovered from those indicted okorocha and many other others were indicted now government duly sealed some of the properties as required by the law one of them was the royal palm gardens dubiously acquired by okorocha's wife at a staggering sum of over 1 billion naira. Instead of seeking the legal route, the former governor took the laws into his hands by breaking the sealed property. Of course, as is natural with him, Okorocha undertook that legal assignment with a legion of talks, although he was among those arrested that night. Okorocha was not charged along 
with the other talks the next day and that brings us to the subject of his of this conference is richard sokorucha above the law even before the former governor was indicted by the various panels which confirmed that senator okorocha is immediate family extended families as some few political associates looted emo state to the point of death there had been series of petitions to the efcc and icpc yet okorocha was never arrested does it mean that that we are in an animal farm where some animals are more equal than others again we ask if richard okorocha is above the law we know that okorocha has boasted severally that he is richer than emo state we want to know at what point did he achieve that since it was a public knowledge that the man was on the verge of bankruptcy before he became governor again what business was the wife doing that she could build a five billion naira estate among other properties come to think of it where did okorocha's family get 20 billion naira to claim to have funded a university registered under the emo state government and what extent is the source of funding for Rocha's foundation a dispassionate investigation into these allegations would reveal that okorocha is the most corrupt politician in the current dispensation yet he remains untouchable untouchable why should he be so without wasting much of your time we are here to call on the inspector general of police to order the immediate arrest of senator rocha Okorocha, who was caught red-handed breaking the law except the police are telling us that the that okorocha is above the law and he had boasted as he has boasted he should be taken into custody immediately similarly we are urging the newly appointed chairman of escc abdul rashid bawa to reopen investigations into the myriad of allegations against okorocha the people of Imo State are daily weeping, bemoaning their fate in the hands of this tyrant who, after whipping them, does uh, them does not want them to cry. Okay, after whipping them, he does not want them to cry. We have not lost hope in the ability of the police and EFCC to carry out their jobs effectively. We can also not accuse them of selective application of the law. Two former governors from the north are serving sentences for corruption so why is okorocha see a free man this is the big question begging for answer they said others at the press conference were kabiru yusuf soba president arewa youth consultative movement yaya salisu president Hausa youth council worldwide simon tena president tv youth peace initiative mohammed saliu dalami speaker arewa youth assembly Aisha Mekano, President, Kogiya Kungiya Matan, Arewa, Uma Sani Jada, Speaker, Fufude Youth Assembly, and Idris Goga, President, Northern Anti Corruption Ambassadors. Okay. I think uh, these people are speaking from the angle of, uh, oh, yes, uh, some Northern, Northern governors are in, in custody because of, they are in prison because of uh, their corruption. Uh, cases so it is like what is good for the goose is good for the gander so because i'm surprised that uh, these guys are the ones not crying more than the bereaved uh the northerners maybe i, I think that they are coming from that angle that ah oh it's, it's not going to be only northern governors or oh, it's going to be those who are still involved in corruption you know the government is always or the government of the day they always go after those who they think is not in their good book of course we, we cannot all sit down here and be saying oh korocha this or korocha that let the police do their work and let's see and let them let us see whether they are going to be truthful about this whole thing or not so i don't know the angle at which these people are coming from but all everything that they have put together let's okorocha go and answer let the police do their job and do their findings because it is a very very unpleasant situation we found ourselves because some people are bigger some people are above the law well leave that for emo youth examine your own governors the truth cannot hide its color as the arewa youth know what the emo governor is capable of poss possessing please arrest okorocha as i believe he is an imposter of some sort the man is not better than an armed robber both efcc and icpc are meant to arrest yahoo boys and some individuals who oppose the government in power it is clear that Zodima have paid masters as fulani people to destroy his brother aka okorocha 
shame to Igbo lights, Igbo Ellis. If you join APC, your sins are forgiven. Period. So, guys, let's share your opinion and leave your comment down there below. Thank you.